Imperial College is a really good place to be doing research because we have the full range from basic molecular biology, intracellular control, cellular systems as a whole. We look at population statistics and epidemiology. We look at animal physiology. We look at human disease and human disease tissues. And even more importantly, we work closely with the Faculty of Natural Sciences so we get the most basic information and also the Faculty of Engineering so we can apply statistical electronic analysis, very, very advanced engineering so we can implant things. And of course, actually Imperial College has a very active business school who helps us set up new companies and spin outs. So it's a very exciting place to be. I'm Professor Guy Rutter and I run a group in the college which is interested in understanding the control of insulin secretion. And this is the process which goes wrong in type 2 diabetes. That's the most common form of the disease which affects more than 300 million people worldwide. That's about 8% of the world's population. And we're very fortunate in this work to have funding from the Wellcome Trust. I hold a Wellcome Senior Investigator Award and we also have a programme grant from the Medical Research Council and we get support also from the European Commission for this work. Specifically what we're trying to do is to understand how genes, variations in genes which have been identified by epidemiological studies in man to affect disease risk, how these genes work actually at the molecular and cellular level to influence insulin secretion. And we use a number of model systems to dissect those mechanisms of action. In particular, we use imaging approaches, high-end imaging approaches a good deal to dissect the effects of these gene variations. On the other hand, we also work with colleagues who are trying to understand the mechanisms through which bariatric surgery affect an improvement in insulin secretion and glucose homeostasis. And we're doing this in collaboration with colleagues and other campuses uh, who are doing clinical studies. Finally, we're very excited to, to be working with chemists and physicists across the college to develop new techniques, small molecules which we believe will be able to give to patients suffering from type 2 diabetes to count the number of pancreatic beta cells that they have. We have evidence that the number of these cells declines as the disease progresses, but we don't have proof of that yet. We believe that if that is the case, we'll be able to develop new drugs which suppress that process and also to develop new ways to model that in other systems. We believe this is going to be a very important advance in the treatment of this disease. In particular, we hope that therefore we can personalize and tailor the drug treatment which we give to individuals suffering from type 2 diabetes. Here at the Wellcome Trust NIHR Clinical Research Facility, we have the unique opportunity of being able to study patients who volunteer to have further investigation of their particular condition. So we're currently here at the NIHR Wellcome Trust Clinical Research Facility. As you can see, um, we have a study volunteer lying um, on the bed behind me. We are currently looking at two hormones, glucagon and GLP-1, and how it affects both food intake and energy expenditure. Rob here, our volunteer, has a pump delivering the hormones. And with the findings from these studies, we're able to translate this into uh, drugs that uh, would also offer similar benefits and at the same time uh, be able to carry out early clinical trials uh, on the drugs in the clinical research facility here. I'm Chris Halton, I'm a third year PhD student. I'm Ioannis Christakis and I'm a second year PhD student. We both work in the Department of Medicine. I use techniques such as in situ hybridization and I'm looking at the pathways between the hypothalamus and the periphery specifically obesity um, and looking at glucose regulation and glucose appetite. I work in the drug development project of the department that focuses on developing an anti-obesity medication and a multi-institutional cutting-edge project that uses the vagus nerve as an anti-obesity treatment as well. I joined Steve Bloom's lab because I know it's the forefront of obesity and diabetes research and it uses cutting-edge techniques. Being a surgeon with a special interest in endocrine surgery, I have come to appreciate how translational medical research forms the basis of medical advancement.